Hey, Fitzy here, back at a game, another one. I think this one speaks for itself. Stick around. All right, so let's get started on this. In the last video, I uh, we made this panel here. Made a roll-in, done a double crown on it. I used an English wheel and a shrinker to make that panel. And some basic hand tools. Uh, what's left on this here now is i got to join the taillight sections to the end panel. So i got to figure out this whole section up through here and up along here for this here to mount to this panel. Now, I've been standing back looking at it for a while, and you can see the way that the back of it goes right narrow right here on the back side. I think it should follow the same thing on the inside as well. So I think I, I got it marked there now, and I think I'm going to roll that edge down there and just fade it off like it's down here on the bottom, and fade that out there, and then figure out a way to bring all that into that, and then join that into that. Because I think that having two sides of the light different uh, it won't look right, so I figured I got to take the same design that I got over here and apply it to this side here so that it actually looks like a symmetrical when you cut it down the middle, one side looks the same as the other. So, what I'm going to do there first now is I'm going to pop this off and I'm going to roll this edge so it's really tight. So, almost this goes in basically almost in straight in from there, that'll go straight in off of that lift there. So that's what I'm going to do. I got the panel taken off. Now I got over here on the bench and I'm going to turn around and take my hammer and dolly now. I'm going to work this edge all the way along there. Uh, I've said it many times before, don't overthink things one step at a time. Things may not go your way, but if you overthink it and start thinking three or four steps ahead, this got to go this way, I got to flow this way, I got to flow that way, it'll really get overwhelming. So what I'm doing first, I just want to get the taillight looking symmetrical here and uh, I'm going to go from that then. Well, I sat down and started playing around with a few things, and I realized one thing. i got to get the taillight bolted into the back of this taillight section. So all I did is I took some scrap steel, these little pieces that I've cut off the things, sort of angle iron pieces, 18 gauge, and I cut them off, drilled a hole in it, found a bolt, bolted in the bottom of the thing, and then that pulled tight there and pulled tight there. So that holds the bottom on. I'll weld that in there, and then I'll reinforce it after. And in the top, I've done the same thing here, same type of piece of steel. Cut it on an angle, I'll weld that in there and weld that in there. And that will give me an actual mount for the taillight to fit into. So now that's actually bolted in place, okay? And then I can fit everything around that. Because I've been having troubles trying to get things to work because the light is not exactly fitting where I want it to fit. So I'm going to go ahead now and I'll weld these two tabs on here and uh, trim that up. So then uh, I got a bracket for that one. Now that I got the taillight bolted in place, I can actually stand up and I actually see how it's shaped and everything right now. Now if you look down straight at the tail, you can see when you look past this side over here, you can see there's probably about a quarter of an inch or so of it you see of the thing. So I've done the same thing over here, you can see the black marker that I got done. Now everything past the black marker, I'm going to cut off it and I'm going to weld a piece to go straight back. Now I cut out this piece of steel, I made it six inches long and it's the same distance from here down to about here somewhere. So all I'm going to do is I'm not going to overthink this. I'm just going to weld that right on there. I was going to start thinking about shaping it some more. And I said, no, this piece of metal I got here now was a piece I went and showed you in the last video. It's a section of the, the uh, makeshift panel that I made. And so it has a bit of a crown in it. So I took a section of it to give it strength. So I'm going to keep that on the outside of it. So I do have a bit of a crown. It's not a flat piece of steel. So I'm going to turn around, just take that there. And I'll lay that place there and tack weld it on there and uh, go along there and weld that up and see what it looks like. That, uh, that don't look half bad. When you're looking at that from the front side there, it rolls around to the side. All I did is I welded it on the inside, and I welded it on the outside, and then I shaped it on the outside. So now i got to fit it on the car. A bunch of this is going to be cut out of the way. I just cut a small bit out of the way here. But this only has to be like about this big on the back side. I was more concerned about this distance here on the bottom. So I had a piece here. And up here now it's probably going to be very little of it. But at least now i got something new there that I can actually add. I don't want to add no more to it. So I'm going to go over and mark this now. Trim this up and get this fitting back on the car. So here's where I'm to. I got the taillight bolted back in place. And I got the panel put in. And put him in the cleat goes in the, what's it called? I trimmed up this panel so it fits in there. I got a gap here. 
Uh, then I was looking at the, to hide the light to the corner of the panel here. And I went over here and I noticed that this one here seemed like it was higher right here than off the panel. And I was saying, now how in the hell is that? Because we've done X measurements on it from here across here. And we've done X measurements and we had all that straight. So then I started looking at other stuff. And this is what I found. I don't, you don't know what you're going to get into. I got a piece of tape run across the back of it. I measured off the point on this side of the hinge out, 20 and a half, 20 and a half. Taped it off there, taped it off there. Now, that's straight edge. Put that underneath that there, and you can see there's air underneath the bottom of that. I can actually lift that up and down there to touch the tape. Now, but when I come over here, It doesn't fit underneath the tape. This section of the corner panel is either lower over here or it's higher over here. <laughs> uh, it makes me wonder like, okay, maybe it was an accident, this is pushed in or, you know, that type of stuff. But like, would it be a factor? There's so much customization done to this car and so much welding been done to it. It's hard to say whether that was from the factory like that or it's been done since the car was new you know so since it's been chopped up so now i gotta address that because now the problem i got is that this tail right here is lower into the car than this one right so i either gotta bring this down a bit or bring that up so i'm back to the drawing board on that one I'm trying to get that sorted out but i'll get the hang of it but anyway, back to this here. That's basically what I'm after to do here now. You can look at that, that looks pretty good there, right? And it flows nice to the back of the car. You walk around it. You see the way that flows to the back of the panel, right? Going along it. So I'm looking at, I got figured out. I had to put this piece on it to see things because a lot of times it's hard to see stuff when you're looking at it and there's so many dimensions on the go because this came down and turned, okay? Now, was it going to turn? Was it going to go in? You know, was it going to be tight here? Was it going to have to cut this on an angle? All that type of stuff. Also, I ended up trimming up this stuff up here because it was just throwing me off. One side was cut different than the other. So I cut two of them the same. And this is when I found this because I noticed both of these were the same. And then I started noticing other things. So, and I just kept going back. And it seems like I've been working from here down and uh, all my issues are from here up. <laughs> Anyway, so I'm gonna go and see if I can address this and size up a few more things and uh, see if I can get that fitting better. Okay, I ended up running a strip of tape across the back end of her here on the top of both light sections and I measured from this corner here up to the tape. Okay, and what I come to realize is that this tail light is three quarters of an inch up, so I gotta lower this down. I start sizing up a few things and I noticed that this right here. From here down, kind of like goes uphill. You can see it there. Look. This here kind of like comes down and goes uphill like this. So I'm going to lower this section here down. I'm going to split this down here and draw this in. By drawing it in, this is going to lower the section down. So I'm going to have to revamp the fit of this taillight. Basically, I'm, I'm hoping all i got to do is just lay it down a small bit. So I'm going to let this go here now and everything. I'm going to cut and split this here and get this welded back up. Basically, all I'm doing here, from about right here out to the back of it, it was coming uphill, okay? Over-exaggerating it. Um, what all I'm doing here is I'm taking a pie cut section out of it, and then when you bring the two of these together, like so, both sides drop down. That's all I'm doing with them, okay? So I'm trying to do this in such a way that when it drops down, that the distance here is the same as on the other side. So I'm, all I've been doing now is I've been cutting a bit out, putting it together, tack welding it, measuring it, and then cutting it and you know repeating the process. I'm pretty close there now, so I'm gonna go ahead and get that welded up. So I got it all lowered down, everything now, and dollied it all up, and I got the distance here on both sides it's close. And I ended up having to take a strip out of there because that was really thin there, and I ended up having to put a little strip down there. So I got all that done there now. So now next thing I know, I'm gonna fit the tail in. But before I do that, what I'm going to do is you can see the way I got this one all done. I got that bolted in. I got the piece put on the side of it. I'm gonna do the same thing with the other taillight section. Get two of them the same. So I got I just finished taping this up now. I'm gonna end up bolting this into here, making the bracket the same as the other side, and have it so that bolts in there. I'll tweak this side here. 
on the side of this here, the same as what I've done on this side, and put the large piece in there and get that fitting in there so that I can actually get the uh, tail light and everything fitting where I want it to go. Well, I tell you, that was something else. Uh, I had to completely move this all over the place, do a whole bunch of changes on it. Remember, this is the one that I put on the car first, and I mounted it, and then I mounted that one to this one. I don't know what I was thinking. But now that I got something on it, I'm going by measurements, and I got distances off of stuff, and when I start sizing it all up, that one there was off compared to that one. Well, that one there was off, or that one was off. I could have changed that one, but what's the reason? That one there fit good, and I had it all mounted, so I went ahead and changed this one. Um, basically, I took a measurement off of here. I got the measurements the same there. Uh, I got them sort of parallel. They're the same distance apart, of course, because they're on the lights. They're parallel this way, because I measured from top to bottom. And then I done an X measurement on them, got them sort of square that way. Then when I look across the back end of it, you look across the back end of it, you can see the tape and the bottom of the, the car. Looks good, right? It's a bit tricky on this trunk lid because where it's round, it's hard to actually see it, right? But uh, all I'm telling you, that was something else. I got, I'm going to have to click on that place now. I had to move all that in this way, and this here had to be tweaked out this way. Well, there's something else that was. So I'm going to click on these in place now, and I can start uh, going with this here now. I've, after measuring this and measuring it and measuring it, I've after doing it that many times now. So here's what I got, okay? The distance from here, center line of the headlight, or the taillight, sorry, to the center line of the taillight, top and bottom is the same, okay? When I does an X measurement on it, from the, the top of the center of the headlight, the measurement is the same. The distance from here to the body, and here to the body, is the same. The distance from here to the body, and to here from the body, is the same. So I really can't think of anything else now that i got to look at here. Um, they're parallel, so if you measure two of them off... And the top and the bottom are the same, so they got to be parallel. So the taillights are parallel. So I got a re in place in this new location all that time ago. So now I can start joining these to that end panel. Well, I've been busy. Uh, I have been walking you guys through this here and showing you step by step what I was doing because I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> uh, this is what I call freestyle. Uh, I just basically started cutting pieces of tin out and start fitting them in here, fitting them in here and shaping them as I was going, just trying to figure out what had to be done here. Uh, you know, the way the shape had to come down because I didn't know where I was going with it. I have an idea of where I was going. As you can see over here, how open it was on the top side here and the, and the outer edge here. I just had to figure out how everything had to go together. Now that I got it figured out how I'm going to make all the pieces up, I'll walk you through the steps of how I made each individual piece. Sometimes you're going to have to do this. Uh, you know, well, mostly everybody's going to do it anyway. But I never had a plan in place. This here was stumping me, this whole area here. Because this goes up, if you look at it. This rotates this way. And then it also rotates this way. And then this rotates this way. And rotates this way. Okay? Uh, I was going to put a big roll in here. But the problem I got is so close to the light up here. That the roll is not going to fit. So I'm just going to do a gradual body line. That's just going to be a crease. That's just going to go on down. And go in underneath it. And the way I done the panel. Is that when you're standing behind it. The entire tail light is not stuck out on either side. The metal is basically the outside panel is the same as the inside. Right? So that's the way it looked when the tail lights on it. will all look original. Up here. I made this section up here. I was trying to make it one piece. It wouldn't work. This is two sections that I welded in it. And I actually grinded them down. And because I'm trying to get a visual on everything. See how everything is going. Right. So all I'm doing is just put individual pieces in there. Right now I got one, two, three pieces welded into this section here. And I'm happy the way it's going. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go over here. And start on this side over here. And get the pieces made up for that. Down here on the bottom section. All this down here. I'm going to take the entire panel off when it gets all these side sections welded in place and take these panels off and then do that with it laid on its end up on a bench. So that way I can actually work on it nicer and do a nicer job finishing off that bottom side and have all that finished. So then it'll be the, the finishing of the panel. So I'm going to turn around and uh, go over and start on this side here. What I ended up doing, uh, because of the way the tail is shaped, I had to basically take this shape here and fade it off in the thing. I actually had to split the quarter panel underneath this here. 
to get this to go through here and push down on it. So this had to flow up to there, and I had to get this to flow up to there. I had to have a gradual line going from the end of the light up into the back of the machine, right? So I had to uh, manipulate that. It took me a while to figure out what I had to do there, but I got to figure it out. So now this line will basically come down here, and then just basically go down underneath the car that way. And that's the way I got that set up. So I'm going to go over here now. I'm going to cut out a piece. All I went and did is I basically cut a piece out here that went like this. And I shaped it to that. I butt welded to this here. And I butt welded to the side of this panel here. So all I got done, I got a piece of tin now. I cut it out. I trimmed it up so it fit in tight to the side of the light. And it butts up against the bottom panel. Okay. I had to split this up across here. It's got to be pushed in and opened up for this panel to go. So there's a relief there so that uh, crease can continue on up through it. All I'll do now is I tweak this a few different ways. You can see it. I tapped it and I put it in the... Uh, the uh, pipe anvil and rolled it over and then I went and used the vise and hammered down into this here uh, just so I can get a bit of a roll out and I'll fit that in place there now and I'll start what I'll start doing I'll start welding that place there well first thing I do is mark this over here and I'll trim this off off this section over here and then I'm basically all I'll do then is I'll start fitting it and welding it as I'm going and I'll drill it up here and uh, put another cleat going it up here and that'll be my first piece there's the first place put in place, tack welded, butt welded on there, butted in against the side of the light, welded on. I put a cleat up in the corner, and I got to put over here to the edge, haven't done anything else with it. Now I'm going to make this piece over here, that'll go down and weld on to here. It's got a crown on it this way, and a crown on it this way. And then there'll be a crease coming up through here. So it's not going to look very pretty, but, uh, you know, this is how you basically, there's no, no issues with uh, building something out of pieces, okay? Um, I learned a long time ago watching uh, car builders uh, I've noticed they always show the finished product but every now and again you'll see a clip of the back side of some of the panels and you can see like a lot of vehicles that are hand formed are made in multiple pieces so there's nothing wrong with it Hard to do it with one hand. <laughs> oh my. Don't that look lovely? If you haven't seen me use that process before, it's just a uh, hollowed out piece of pipe that I hammers it down into to stretch it, and then I use the top of an old uh, welding bottle to plemish it out using the body hammer. I gotta make this crown both ways for this, this piece I'm making now. So after spending 15, 20 minutes at it, beating it and curving it, beating it and curving it, I got it to where I, I'm close to where I'm happy to be. See, that's mint there a lot. You won't see that. <laughs> One thing I find is when putting pieces in that are shaped, uh, if you can get two sides to fit, you should be able to get the third side to, war you know, bring it into it after the fact. It's very hard to get the whole thing to fit perfect, okay? If I got this side here to fit good and this side here to fit good, I'll weld this and I'll weld this. And then I'll start shaping it and bring it over here and then I'll trim it with the grind around this side here to make it fit right. So I'm going to go ahead now and uh, weld that in and trim it up and get that shaped in. Here it is. All tack weld in place. All flowing together there now good. That's that piece. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut a piece up for there. Lots of scrap. Look. Perfect piece. I did cut out though. But so like I said, I don't throw nothing out. This is a piece to come out of the lower valves piece. Still got to kick around or so. I'm reusing it all. I need to make this section for over there. Uh, one thing I got to do was I like to have this contour the same over there. So what I went and did is the piece that I cut out for over there, I rolled it for this side. I'm going to lay this here now this way. Line it up where I want it to and get it to roll underneath. 
and then I'm going to mark it and trim it in so when it fits, it's got the, the roll in it. Then I'll just take it out, roll it the other way. When I turn it around, I'll have the contour for that side there. Now, in order to mark that, all I usually do with this stuff is I eyeball the first cut. I'm in tight there, about three quarters of an inch there. So all I'm going to do, yeah, no, set this up straight. There we go, that's better. I'm out an inch up there. So all I'm going to do is just come down here, parallel to this. And when it gets to here, it'll be an inch. And I'll just draw that, and then fade it out this way, like that. I'll trim that up there now, and then that'll be close. I trimmed it a few times, but I got it now where I'm happy with it. That's the shape. Now I'll just take that over, I'll turn this this way, and that'll fit on the other side. So I got the piece all shaped up, and what I did, I fit it in place on the car like so, okay? And I marked around it with a marker, okay? And then I colored inside the marker that was there, so I had a spot where I could scribe it. So then I actually laid it in place and I scribed the line there. You can see the line I scribed? I scribed the line on the top, and then I also done the same thing on the bottom. I scribed the line on the bottom. You can see it there, nice, nice, right? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut the bottom out of it, I'm going to cut the top out of it, but I'm going to leave this section here in the middle because it's nice and flat. So I got something to lay it against. The problem with this, if I cut every bit of that out there now, it's going to be hard to float the cinder. I'll have to get do flicky things to hold that in place, right? So uh, this is another advantage of the cotton butt. You can use this for actually fitting panels in like this. I'll get the top corner here section fitted right, and then the bottom will be falling into place, and then all I'll do is I'll do the cotton butt down through here once I got the top fitting. So here's all I got done. I got the top side trimmed out. I just cut it back here, and I got the bottom cut out. And I cut that in there and I left that section there. Why to leave that section there? Because now I can hold it in place and line the top up and push the top in and it's not going to fall through for me. See? That's going to hold that in place. I can just run a blade down through there and cut that after the fact. But if that was um, out of there all together, you'd be putting that in there and it'll have nothing to rest on. This large flat section here is going to keep that parallel to what it's got to do. So I know that it's going to go in right, so now all i got to do is just push that up in place, slide that in there, and then butt weld that there, tack weld all in place there, and then I can just run a zip blade down through there. Now all I did is I laid it up in place, and got it so it was fitting up there good, and I just tack welded it there. I'm going to cut through that later on, that's just going to hold in place. Now I know the panel is right this way, i got the corner up here right, I'm not worried about this in here yet, I'm going to concentrate on getting this done first. So I'm going to start off on this end up here, Push that in, start the corner there. Find my low spot. I bring it to that. It's usually what I does all the time. If I got a low spot, I push it in, I'll find the lowest point and then just well it there. And then tap the rest of it in. Bring it into it. Now I got that corner up there, I can start coming down here and cut this clear. Right in the way, and I? I'm always in the way. So this is what I got. You can see it here, all flush mounted. And then as it gets down here, it's above it, okay? Right here is flush mounted. So I'm going to go ahead now, and I'm going to cut all that down there, get that all fitting right nice, and get that welded in, get that pushed out, and get that welded in place. 
So I got that all cut off, butt welded, attacked it in, and I pushed this out to make this here so the shape was the same, and basically tack welded that on. What I'm going to go ahead here now and do is what I want to do before I take this panel off. i got to finish off the stuff on the bottom, but I want to have it off the car to do it. And I want to weld it all up inside. But what I'm going to do first is I'm going to weld everything up on the outside and grind it all off so it's all smooth so that I can get it from the back side. And then when I take it off, I'll do a nice job finishing this bottom side here. It'll all flow right nice and everything. It'll be easier to do that off on the bench on both sides. So I want to get both of them welded up there now and then grind it off. Went ahead and I got it all grinded up. And then when you get it all grinded up, you start to see things. I started to notice the way this was shaped over here. And then when I went over on this side over here, it wasn't shaped the same. So I ended up having to cut everything over here and readjust it. I made a little template here that I can go by for the angle of the light off the rear panel, see? And you say, you know, well, Tony, that can't be that bad. Right? But when you look at this here, that looks fine. But look inside. <laughs> That's the original panel there that that was welded to that. I had to split it down through there and pull it back to get the angle of it. That was in too straight. So, I'm, well, basically, I stunned that one and then I done the other one. And I like the way the other one looks. This one here looks really nice, right? I like the way it looks when you look stand behind it, see? It got a bit of thickness to it down here where it angles off. Same as on the bottom side there. And that's what I was after over here. A bit of thickness down here. This here just pretty well went away to nothing. So I'm going to get that one welded up now and grind it up. That's a lot better. That's all grind up there now. And all best kind. I went up here ahead now. And I went and moved around a few clicos Because I wants to uh, basically... If I can get this tape off. I want to trim up the back side of this as you can see. So I just marked it along there, put some tape on it, and marked the tape, done the same with both sides. So I can trim that off when I take it off. So basically what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take the panel off the car and do these bottom sections here off the car. And there you have the entire panel taken off. Now all I got to do now is tidy up all this area here. Get all this butt welded here. Get all this done. What I'm going to do first is uh, basically I'm going to join this piece on here. I'm going to do the cutting butt up through here. And get these pieces on. And those are going to have to trim them all up later on. But all I'm going to worry about now is getting the pieces that I got here welded to the machine. And get the edges flowing from there. So all I got to worry about is this transition going in, down through here. So, I got them all welded up, all in back normal, so all I'm left with now is this section here on both sides. So, I, what I'm going to do now is to follow the same procedure that i done over here when I built this outer panel. I'm going to go ahead and just go ahead and make one and see what it's like. And uh, if I can do it and it comes out half sensible, I'll show you how I made it. <laughs> and if it don't, I won't show you. <laughs> anyway, i go see if I can make that piece now. And there it is, made up the piece, rolled it around, welded it all in, grinded it all up. Yeah, it looks deadly. Look up from the top side here. Coming around. See the way it flows across the bottom there. Going down the side. And the way the line goes down around the bottom of it. On the panel. Comes down around, goes down that way there. So I got one more section to make now. So I'm going to take you along on this one here and show you how I made that one.
There's nothing pretty about that, I can guarantee you that. The shape is all there and it's all uh, butt welded and it's all flush. When it grinds it all off, you'll never see it. But when sometimes you can get pretty crude with welding, uh, I had to put a triangle piece down here. I kind of figured I would have to. I had to do the same on the other side. It's just trying to get the whole shape of it going down right. And I was more concerned with getting this roll up here proper and this flat side here and getting this in here right. Down here, I said I can always piece it in, right? But that's basically all how I done it. And there's nothing fancy with it. Uh, looks a bit crude there now. I'm going to grind that all off now and show you what it looks like when it's finished. Now that looks a lot better. See? It's all ready to go now. So now I got the entire panel made. I'm going to I'm going to want, I'm going to go back and do some touch-ups on it. Uh, I got to weld all the inside of it and uh, you know fine-tune a few things here and there and make sure everything's still symmetrical. Uh, but for now, uh, this is basically what I'm going to show you. I'm going to trim off the top there now on both sides and uh, do a test fit on this. I'm very pleased with the way this came out. Looks really good. Bottom corners. Where the tail light sits in there. The way it flows across the back. Rolls around the side. Yeah. All I got left to do with this now is I want to weld the back side of it and uh, basically uh, get all that done and then fine tune a lot of this. I'm not going to get into this. I'm going to end this one here. Uh, all that's just tedious work that's got to be done. I want to get the back side of this. I've done this this way uh, for the simple fact that made it so that the whole panel could come off. So I can uh, basically treat the entire back side of this. I'm going to be painting everything on the inside of this once it's all said and done. So I can, I'll do that before I actually do the cotton butt up along here. Because all I'm going to do is, is, is weld it along here and down along here like so. And then just spot weld it on the bottom side and that'll be done. And then I can get started on the quarter panel on it. Right? So... It was a lot of a big undertaking. Uh, a lot of it was just basically there was no, I wouldn't say thought press process got into it. It's just like it was one of those things I couldn't like all this section here. I couldn't really see it in my head. A lot of times when I build stuff, I can see it in my head, and uh, it was just like it was just too much going on there, and the way it was shaped, and all that type of stuff, and the way the tail is shaped that I had to uh, you know take into account. So I just basically had to come over and just start putting pieces in and sizing it up and say, okay, I like that look. Let's go with that, right? I made some changes as I went, you know, as I went through it all. And to me, it looks nice there, the way it all flows down together on both sides. Right? Mm -hmm. But anyway, that was a very interesting project. Uh, I got a lot more to do on this car. So uh, you're going to see a lot more of this type of work uh, coming on the channel. Um, this is something I really enjoy doing. I don't do it a lot because I don't have the opportunity. And, uh, you know, I would like to do more of this, this crazy uh, fabrication stuff. And it finds it really challenging. And, like, I was out here last night till 1.30 in the morning like this, and that's not me. I'm not young anymore. And usually an eight-hour day usually does me in. And... Uh, you know, but this here, no, I was really into this last night and I stayed at it till it was done. Anyway, I hope the tips were good and until next time. Hey, don't peanut. Why are you doing it here at night? Not better to be at, is it? Roll this over the top of this here, weld it on. I'm probably going to end up trimming something off later, but nuisance arse. Yes, you are. I can't do nothing with you, you know that, right? You got to. Down off on me. Where'd you go? 
They got your tail down, right? Boss, oh boss. No, I'm not at the Mustang. Give it up. I can't do nothing here. Look. What do you want? What are you after? Boss, come in and hang out for a while, eh? Yeah? Checking it out. I do a good job building them up.